Experts predict we're heading towards one of the worst global recessions in history. With rising inflation, mass layoffs, and global conflicts, hope isn't enough. So in this video, I'm going to reveal to you the seven steps to prepare for the recession. Step number one is going to be the opposite of what you expect. And step number one is to increase your fees or increase your prices. Now, while most other businesses are lowering their prices and racing to the bottom and becoming a commodity, this is a call to a higher level of service, to a higher level of value that you're providing your customers. Why? Because if you are going to increase your prices, your value must be there. In fact, when you charge your client something, you want to ensure that they're getting 10 times the value for what they're paying for. So just by deciding today that instead of following the herd and lowering your prices, you're increasing them, you're going to find ways to up-level the transformation and the results that you're offering your clients. So that's step number one to prepare is increase your coaching fees. Step number two is to improve your sales skills. Sales is the most important skill you learn as a coach because if you can't enroll and close clients, then you can't serve anybody. And if you're going to follow step one and increase your prices, then obviously you need to master the art and science of enrollment. You need to know what to say. You need to know how to say it. You need to know how to do it in a non-manipulative, non-pressury way because when there's an economic uncertainty, there's more risk. There's lower reward. And so when you show up authentically and genuinely and really know how to articulate the tremendous value that you're providing, then you're going to command higher fees. But you've got to increase your skills here. I can give you the best marketing strategies in the world, but if you don't know how to close, you're not going to get clients. So that's step number two to prepare for the recession. Step number three, and this is more of a psychology tip is to stop watching doomsday predictions, AKA the mainstream media. Now I'm not gonna argue with you whether we're in a recession or not in this video, but I want you to know that many people are taking advantage of your fears and your doubts and your insecurities as a human. And they're projecting all of their negativity on you. Yes, we may be in a recession and so what? It's a recession, it's not your recession. If you fall into the trap of consuming so much of the mainstream media, then it's gonna feel like the world's falling apart and you're never gonna make it. Or if you go down rabbit holes of the doomsday predictions, which again, are very convincing. Why? It's psychology. We trust people that are looking out for our best interests. If somebody's predicting a rose-colored glasses, glasses future, then we're gonna call BS and we don't believe them. But if instead they're predicting danger ahead, then we trust them because they're looking out for our best interests. So be very selective and be very careful. Yes, there's uncertainty. Yes, there are challenges. But if you buy into the narrative that's happening right now, your mindset will stop you in your tracks. The fourth step to preparing your business for the recession is to reduce non-essential expenses. Now, I'm not suggesting that you become super scarce in your investing in your business, but there's certain non-essential expenses that you have. In fact, recently I went through and I went line item by line item in my P&L to look at all of my fixed and variable costs, expenses, and I cut things that I no longer use that aren't adding value to my business. Why? Because number one, that optimizes the profitability of my business, but number two, it frees me up for the next step, which is critical during a recession. Step number five is to invest more of your money into marketing, into sales, and into systems. When most other coaches and most other businesses are contracting, you want to double down. I've made a decision, and I'm not giving you investment advice in this video. This is just informational purposes. But I look at the uncertainty of the market, and instead of me pouring money into my Roth IRA and my 401k right now, which I have always done, I'm investing more into my business. Why? Because while other people contract, this is my opportunity to explode. And if you want more of an audience, more clients, more impact, then now's the time. Now, again, you can take on debt to do this, but I'm suggesting that you cut some of your expenses that are no longer essential and reinvest that into your business. And then as your profits grow, you take more of those profits and reinvest back into the business. Because you've heard me say before, it doesn't matter how good of a coach or a business owner you are if nobody knows that you exist. So now is the time. Don't wait for things to be great because then it's too late. In times of uncertainty is the times when you double down on your business. 
the sixth step to preparing for uh, a recession is to hire a mentor and a coach. You know, I've hired business coaches during this time, not just to teach me new strategies to generate leads and get clients, but to work on my psychology. When I'm in fear, when I'm in doubt, when I'm in uncertainty, I can lean on their certainty and their clarity for guidance, and that's really critical. It doesn't have to be me, it could be anybody, but find a coach that really resonates with you, that you trust, that you feel safe with, that know that you know has the results that you want, and invest the time, energy, and money to work with them. And you should do this at any stage of your business, but specifically when you're going through tough economic times and entering a recession. Now, the seventh most important step to prepare for the recession is to over-deliver for your clients, is to under-promise and over-deliver. Sadly, this is the opposite of what's happening today. Most coaches out there are hyping what they're promising and they're delivering a fraction of what they say they will. And you get to do the opposite. This is your opportunity to differentiate yourself to actually build an audience of raving clients and raving fans because you follow through on what you say you're going to do. This is going to be the lifeblood of your business. Yes, I believe in ads, I believe in funnels, I believe in partnerships and all those things, but what the most important lead gen and client attraction strategy should be in your business is to wow your clients because if you create clients that are raving fans, then they become your referral engine. You start getting a flood of referrals, which is very important to have that level of foundational certainty in your business. So these are the seven steps that I recommend every one of our clients prepare for and follow when entering a recession. One of my clients, his name is Todd Payne. He's a great relationship coach. Before he became a student at Fearless Coach Academy, he was frozen. He was a great coach, but he was lacking certainty because he wasn't getting consistent clients and he wasn't getting any leads. And we taught him the seven-step process and obviously helped him generate more consistent leads. And he went from literally making like a few thousand dollars a month to now being at 10K a month in monthly recurring revenue. You can check out his story up here if you want to, but just know that this is gonna unpack the exact steps that he took. So make sure to watch that interview. And if you want, uh, if you want to, if you found this to be valuable and you want to watch future videos of mine, number one, make sure to like this video and smash that like button. And number two, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a future video. Now that you know how to not just survive, but thrive through a recession, I invite you to watch my next video, which will teach you how to become a six figure coach without certification. And if you're already a six-figure coach and you want to scale to seven figures, this video will help you too. So make sure to click up here and watch this video now. And my name is Peter Scott, reminding you to be here, act now, and fear less.